gigahertz my friends and it's working okay needs a little bit of volts it only survives two two three cinebench runs i need better cooling i need better but ryzen 2 it's so fun four point uh, speeds that were never imaginable back in the day 1920 but it gets better than that let's uh, let's see here. The max temperature here got up to a whopping 86 degrees. It's too hot. It's too many volts to run 4.3. And you know what I want? I want to uh, here. Let's just hope that this works. I want to get the ultimate score in Cinebench with my Ryzen. I want to get a freaking here. We'll bring up the task manager. 2000 score. And I believe this is attainable, but we're going to have to do something drastic. Now, if I go to details and I set priority to uh, high, and yeah, change that, and then uh, we hit run again, will it survive? It, it won't. It won't. So we need to lower the temperature. 80 degrees something, over 80 degrees on Ryzen is too freaking hot. How are we going to do that? As you see, I was running this at full tilt. Uh, the pumps at max speed, the fans are at max speed. I think I have an idea. Uh, fluid. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. I got some fluid. I got a giant ass rad. Got a block. Boom, boom. Uh, we're gonna get this figured out. We're gonna get. An amazing Cinebench score, and it's just going to be awesome. So stick around for a second, uh, and we're going to make our own little cooler situation on the bench with this big rad, a max pump speed. We're going to get our 2000 in Cinebench, or my name isn't Timmy Jojo Shabadoo. Timmy Joe, make a video about computers on the internet. This would be uh, a ridiculous little situation. I've got myself into, haven't I? 
Oh, it's been a long road. As you can see, not really the easiest one either. Restart PC. So uh, we're overclocking the brand new Ryzen 2 2700X. I've been able to break 4.3 gigahertz. 4.4 is what the computer's set at right now. And this is what it's taken to get there. And it's all in an effort to get 2,000 points on an 8-core processor in Cinebench. Oh, man. I can get 1,900. I can get 1,800. I can get uh, 1,950. I can get 1,985. But I can't, for the life of me, get any more. That 15 extra points, it's, it's killing me. And uh, I've just been trying everything, including putting one of the rads. Uh, yeah, two giant uh, Alpha Cool rads. One is in ice water. One's three fan push pull. Six fan, really. So, uh, what are we doing here? Well, uh, I guess we're going to find out. I imagine that that little break I gave the computer, uh, I run the pump uh, at like just ridiculous speeds, 4,000 here. Uh, I've been running the pump so that the water circulates and cools the loop off while it's sitting here. Uh, hoping that the extra tiny smidgen worth of cooling at 4.4 gigahertz is enough. Uh, a very ridiculous 1.47 volts uh, to land me that extra 15 points. This is only the billionth take I've done of this too. And I guarantee it's just going to freeze right here. Yep. We're getting water everywhere. I put some snow and ice in this bucket. It's just been, it's been a shit show. What we did better with was 3.75 and adding base clock or whatever, CPU clock control, 3.8, 3.8, there. Anyways, if I can't get 2,000, I'm probably going to pull my damn hair out. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to try, right? You got to achieve your goals. It does seem like the temperatures are actually the limiting factor here. I have a very good VRM on this uh, motherboard with, like, heat pipes. I've got a fan blowing directly at it. Everything is set to max. Max fan speed, max pump speed, max pain. Anyways. Uh... I don't imagine that that will, uh, I don't know why I'm even opening hardware monitor. I haven't been doing that because I just don't, I, it, it idles with that bucket in there between 21 and 30. No problem. And you don't want to have hardware monitor open because that'll cost you 10 points. So Windows is loading and uh, it's a fresh install of Windows. There's, not, there's no programs installed except for Chrome hardware monitor and Cinebench. Uh, it's an M.2, 16 gigs of 3200 speed memory, that's slightly overclocked further than that. Uh, I, you know, I have 32 gigs, I took two sticks out thinking maybe that would help. Um, but, here we go. Come on, you bull cocky. You can do it. I installed the Ryzen chipset driver. I, uh, I, I don't know what else to do, man. 15 points in Cinebench. This seems to be running a lot better though, at 4.39 gigahertz with a bit of base clock, 1971. Oh, oh freaking hell, man. I'm so close. You see that 1983 right there? Oh, it's just, it's so close, I can taste it. So you can do this thing where you go like uh, Cinebench and you go so open details. The only thing I can think to close in here maybe is like Google Updater. I don't think, you know, at 50, 500 kilobytes of memory, that's going to be doing much. None of the CPU, you know, it's not drawing any CPU power here. But what you can do is set Cinebench here to priority above normal. Yeah, change the priority. Uh, there is high in real time, but I don't find that that helps because uh, it causes system instability. This little thing has shown to improve my score, so I don't imagine it's going to run twice. There's no way. We're at a ridiculous voltage, too. 1.475 or something stupid. The, I'm not putting the voltage any higher. I know something's going to go wrong if I do. 
1980. I'll let it settle for a second. And I'll do it again. Four point three nine gigahertz. Come on, you fucker. <laughs> Give me that. Like, I would settle for nineteen ninety at this point. Nineteen seventy eight. Give her a second. With how stable this is right now, I would imagine I could bump the core clock up a little or no, the uh, base clock or whatever. The core clock control. Shit. Nope. Well, my friends, I don't know what to do. I feel defeated. I really do. I want to get that 2000 and it's so damn close with a little bit better chip. I don't know. I think my chip's pretty damn good. 4.4 .4 gigahertz. I just ran that Cinebench a couple times. Ugh. This is so stressful. There's no way that this finishes. Yeah. We're, we've hit a wall. So, if you guys know of any tricks... Turn off. Turn off. If you guys know of any tricks to get 13 points and 17 points in Cinebench, 15 points, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm not watching me join Instagram and Twitter. I feel defeated even though I achieved a ridiculous score in Cinebench today. The highest I've seen out of any Ryzen 2, but no one's doing bullshit like put two rads in a ice bucket in their loop to try and you know whatever unless you're ln2 overclocking devour but i'll see you guys in another video it's late i've been doing this all night and uh i feel defeated <laughs> i'm kidding bye rise i'll do some more with this obviously patreon for god's sakes i'm putting my computer in an ice bath Wow, that's fucked up, dude.